What is up, Ravens Flop? Huge shout out for your support for the 410 Sports Talk. Chance and Glenn are the best in the business. They're killing it right now. They love talking Raven talk. Make sure you go subscribe to their channel. Let's go, Ravens. Big trust. Welcome in, everybody, to another episode of 410 Sports Talk. James Haskell, along with my faithful compadre, Glenn Martin, and we are here to talk about uh, the Baltimore Ravens meeting with one, I'll call him a, a top 10 draft prospect at quarterback, Anthony Richardson, uh, out of the University of Florida, the Gators. And uh, so I'm looking forward to talking to it, what it means for the Ravens, what it means for Lamar, what it means for the Colts, what it means for everyone involved, what it means for Anthony Richardson. But before we do, take a second, hit the subscribe button, turn notifications. Of course, give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying the content and leave all your comments below. But Glenn, talk to me because, you know, you were you were letting me in. You were, uh, you know, cluing me in on this. Talk to me about kind of what's going on and what some of your thoughts are, man. Yeah, so surprised uh, when I read this tweet here. I'm going to throw it up on the screen here. Um, Jacina Anderson tweeted out that she was told Anthony Richardson is currently expected to meet with the Raiders, the Panthers, Falcons, Titans, Colts, and Ravens on his visit tour. Also told that the Seahawks are um, in, in flux here. So as far as I know, there's only six visits that are allowed, and I see all six teams, right, in the first mm -hmm. sentence, and then they, they throw in that the Seattle Seahawks aren't currently scheduled, but that he has a good that, – that Pete Carroll has a good relationship. But – Really, what I, I'm stunned to see is that you know, the Ravens are on this list. I mean, look, there's no shock as to why the Panthers are on there, right? They're sure. picking at the very top, tip top of the draft. and Falcons, Titans, even the yeah. Raiders to a certain extent. The Colts haven't found anyone since Andy Luck decided to retire early. So it's obvious why these names are on here. But the Ravens, everything I've heard is that their expectation is to still have Lamar Jackson at quarterback at least this season. So maybe that's all they expect is just this season. Or maybe they, they're blowing smoke and that they don't even expect that. Mm -hmm. But interesting to see them being on such a limited – because you think that I got a limited number of visits. You know, I'm not going to go to a team that I don't think there's no chance of me ending up with, right? Like if you're Anthony Richardson, mm -hmm. you're going to go to a team that you think has a shot to draft you. And you know you're not making it out of the first round. So – how sh how surprised were you, and what did you make of the fact that the Ravens are on this list? Yeah, initially, I mean, certainly, I was <coughs> I was surprised um, because this would mean that the only the only way you acquire this guy is if you move up, right? Yeah, there's I don't think there's a shot, you know, snowball's chance in hell that Lamar Jacks or excuse me that Anthony Richardson is sitting there at twenty two for the taking. I don't think there's a chance. Um, he's just too athletic. I want to remind people he ran the fourth fastest 40 for quarterback oh, in yeah. give NFL him a little, history. Give him a yeah, little this rundown. dude, he's 6'4 and a quarter, 244 pounds. Mm. He's massive, first of all. On top of that, ran a 4'4", 340. Only three quarterbacks have been faster than him. Uh, my, you know, Michael Vick being the fastest and RG3 being right up there at 441, who is an absolute track star. Uh, so look, this guy jumped 129 inch broad jump and a 40 and a half inch vertical. I just want to say this that's Derek Rose's vertical in the NBA combine. And now, that's the 6'4, 200 and what pound? Quarter 244 pounds. Who that's also hit the hit the ceiling of the enclosed arena he was throwing in. <laughs> now, shout out to Derek Rose. After he tore his ACL, he then jumped four inches higher than that after the first one, which is just insane. Crazy. But look, ultimately, we're talking about a football player who's much larger and and uh, you know jumping high is not his primary, you know, a big part of his primary duties. So this is just, I mean, it's just an incredible athlete, type one athlete. I don't know how many, honestly, Glenn. I, I if I think of just pure athletes, like guys that could compete probably in any sport that they wanted to compete in. I mean, I think if I put him in any list like uh, Cam Newton, uh, I know a lot of people don't mention this, but Andrew Luck was an absolute oh, monster. Athlete. Yeah. Um, I, I know he, he's went low in the draft. Taysom Hill was an, is an incredible athlete. Mm -hmm. Like there's some guys there that the quarterback class that have been 
that athletic. And obviously you got to add Lamar Jackson in there, but Lamar didn't really do stuff at the combine because other than throw, because he didn't really feel the need to. And I get it. Uh, so all that being said though, this dude is not going to be a 22. So the reason I'm bringing all this up is because what's got to happen. This is really my question, Glenn, what's got to happen if the Ravens are really considering this? Cause if not considering it, then why are you taking the meeting? This has got to be real, right? If not, I don't understand why you take it and why Anthony takes it. So what do the Ravens have to do if they really want this kid? I mean, talk to me. Yeah. What are the scenarios? Well, before I, I, I give you those scenarios, I want to say Lamar Jackson did not take a visit during the pre-draft dra draft process because the Ravens wanted to keep <laughs> their interest level in him. So are you saying it could be a hush -hush. All I'm saying is when they were very interested in Lamar, they, in they intentionally did not have him in for a visit. Hmm. So you can kind of take with okay. that what you will. Now, as far as getting – getting to the spot where you could possibly take Anthony Richardson. If you're the Ravens, you're right. No chance. He gets to 22. I'd What's be shocked. What lowest do you think he goes like 10? I, I would be. Yeah. I'd be stunned if he gets out of the top 10. I, I, yeah. I don't think he gets out of the top five, but I would be absolutely shocked if he gets out of the top 10. Mm -hmm. um, even with the very real concerns of his accuracy and decision-making, he still had, you know, lower completion percentage than, you know, people would like when there's, possibly selecting a guy that high in the draft but you can't argue all the other you know intangibles that he brings i mean it's it's i mean the tangibles that he brings and the intangibles <laughs> yeah. that he brings Could are you imagine incredible. him in the niners backfield they wouldn't even have to pass imagine him under center with debo and mccaffrey in the backfield it's un yeah it's unbelievable so in order to get a guy that good jimbo i got news for you they don't have a lot of draft picks so no. the only way they could get up that high is if they trade lamar jackson and they get up to where Indy's picking, and that's how you know that's their trade ship. They trade Lamar Jack. They get this year's number one, which I think they're they're right now picking four, and they get next year's one, which could very well be in the twenties if Lamar Jackson has anything to say about now, where they end up. Really quickly though, <laughs> the only way we envision a trade is not via like we don't see the offer sheet being a scenario in which right. Lamar the Ravens don't match, right? It would be a trade that is facilitated. It would be a sign and trade. Sign and trade. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so but it would absolutely have to, I would assume, oh, include right. this fourth round, this fourth overall pick. It would absolutely have to and more. Yeah. It wouldn't be much just more. two first round picks. Right, right. Much, much more. So yeah. that's the only way the Ravens are going to be able to get Anthony Richardson is if they trade Lamar Jackson. There's mm. just, there's no other way they can get up that high. They don't have the capital draft wise. And they don't have another player that would draw that sort of interest. It's it's only Lamar Jackson. So mm -hmm. I don't know, but I don't know what to make of it because it's like I That's said. I was going to ask: Does this change? Does this change anything for you around the thinking of Lamar staying here and the relationship that the Ravens have with Lamar Jackson? I guess you could only say, you could <laughs> say that this is just the Ravens doing their due diligence. I, I think it's a little. But let me ask you this. This is my only thing. Do you think who solicited the meeting? Because, well, I guess obviously the Ravens solicited the, Ravens. the meeting. Let me back this up. What I'm saying is, let me ask the question this way. If he's got limited, like he's only going to take limited meetings. Why? 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 The agent you know, must think that this is a valuable meeting. That's the only yeah. way that the agent is getting some sort of word. That a meeting with them would be would be wise, be valuable, and it's a possibility you could end up a Raven. So it, it could mean that the Ravens are just doing their due diligence and the and that the agent is acting off the tabloids <laughs> that he sees and saying, Hey, Lamar might not be there. Or is there it anyway, this is a statement to Lamar. Could mean that. Could be that. It could be. I'd be surprised. The Ravens don't seem like yeah. a team that makes statements like that, but could be. Like, look. You know, here's another guy that, uh, you know, is coming out. He's young. He's hungry. He's not as expensive. And maybe we can mold him much in the same way they, they feel that they did with Lamar Jackson. And maybe they could get a uh, – I mean, I don't know how anyone can count on the results they got with Lamar Jackson, but maybe yeah, they can yeah, count yeah. on some sort of, of, of similar uh, trajectory. It's like a like – a, um, a Flash spark. in the pan? Yeah, flash in the pan, right, where you get one or two years where it's – this kid is so just different. difficult to defend that it takes so much, right? So different that it takes time for people to catch up. Not that people have caught up to Lamar. I'm not saying that either, but well, we they did caught have up to the Lamar Roman, I think. Yeah, yeah. The combination of the two. Yeah. Yeah. 
to and even to a certain extent. I mean, that's true. He was the September offensive player of the month <laughs> and was playing out of his mind. So, so you know, I Bateman guess maybe not healthy. Maybe Who not. knows what happened, right? right? Um, but yeah, man, this is just so interesting. Me, interesting to me. Like, why do the Ravens solicit this? Like you said, is it simply them? doing their due diligence is it a smoke screen is it team you know them trying to get as many quarterbacks as they can drafted in front of them you know people what, what kind of it could be that it could be by putting the seed in people's head that say look we met with him the ravens met with him you better if take we let this happen, right you know get you, a little, and maybe they do want to see as many quarterbacks taken which you normally would if you have a franchise one in, in your in your building already but how many i don't i don't know how precious that time is, but I got to imagine every visit like is means something for the Ravens. Like I, I got to think that this, mm -hmm. this means that they at least understand there's a possibility that they could be picking in a position where they could select Anthony. It's got to mean something. Yeah, certainly. I think it means this, that there's been back channeling between the Colts and the Ravens. I believe it means that, that they've had conversations and then maybe the Ursay, we don't believe in guaranteeing contracts, is another way of Ursay sending a message to Lamar, like, hey, we want you, but we're not going to give you that 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 either. Right, but if you don't want to be in Baltimore, we'll take you. Right, we'll do the deal, but we can't do the game. But if it's just about being in Baltimore, I get it. My dad ran out too, so I get it. You know? Oh, man. All right. Like that son of a gun. Yeah, I'll tell you what. If Lamar Jackson goes to play for the Colts for anything less than a guaranteed contract, he will be my least favorite player in the NFL. I'm saying it right now. I'm saying it. I know that's yeah. that's unpopular, no, that's fair. unpopular no, that's, opinion. Well, that's fair. I mean, you're a Ravens fan. Right. And they're going to the team that left Baltimore. You know, that's right. a that's a that's still even though we're very young. Less? We're much younger than those who saw it happen firsthand. It still uh matters, you know, it matters. My dad uh, was lived through that and Made My sure. mom still has not been to a Ravens game because she's like, I don't care. I've been to a Colts game. That's all that matters. That's literally her excuse. I'm like, you were like 13, mom. <laughs> like, hey, it's still, it, I get it though. That's how, that's how my dad still looks at that as like, you know, the greatest, uh, the greatest logo in sports. But they, that, that's, uh, yeah, there's a lot of love there between the, yeah, but for sure. it, so I would be devastated to see him go. Uh, I don't want to see any of my favorite players go to the Colts. No, thanks. Uh, even though I did have a bit of a soft spot for Peyton Manning, even even though he beat us a few times, it's like hard not to like that guy. Uh, but yeah. let us know what you guys think. I mean, is this is this simply a smoke screen? Is this the Ravens doing their due diligence, or are the Ravens starting to come to realization that they might be have to prepare for a world without Lamar Jackson under center? We saw, we've seen draft night fireworks last year. Could it be two years in a row? Yeah, because I don't think anybody expected Marquise to go when he did. Uh, so yeah, is that, is that what's on the horizon for the Ravens fans this year? Are they going to see another draft day explosion, uh, when we see Lamar Jackson moved so the Ravens can go get Anthony Richardson? Let us know what you think. Is this just all for no, is this just not a big deal and th they're just doing their due diligence? Uh, let us know in the comments below and we'll talk soon. Yesterday does not matter. You're looking forward to today. I'm looking forward to being a Raven. What are they getting? Everything out of me. They're going to get a Super Bowl out of me. Believe that.